Uh, this is Anzac Dota, Captain's Draft Tournament. Uh, Pussy Lance taking on Just a Minute Gaming. My name is Right Hunter. I'm joined for this one uh, with back. Mrs. Frisbee. Hey man, how's uh, it going? Excited for today's action. Yeah, good. Some pretty uh, good series um, coming out before with Yolo Bear taking that one out. Dying yeah, well, to uh, is this is this lower bracket or this is upper bracket? Ah, uh, this, this is game this here. The upper bracket. This is the upper bracket. Sick. So uh, the winner of this the winner of this continues. The loser drops down. If we have a quick look at the uh, the pool of heroes, Oracle's back mm -hmm. in. Uh, there's a Meepo there. Radiant uh, team ban. Slada is going to be first picked, like for sure. I'm super down to see some Meepo this tournament. I haven't seen it yet, but I'm just waiting, waiting for someone um, dares to pick it up. Certainly within the realms of possibility. Um, <sighs> both these teams with winning starts to the Dyer tournament last night. Back. This is their first game today. <clears throat> I'm looking to start it off with a win. Uh, of course, uh, there's a bit of a prize pool up for grabs here in the captain's draft. The winner taking home $700. Uh, second place getting $300 as well, so there's uh, a lot of incentive for these teams to do well and it really has brought out some of the best Australasia uh, has to see. We've got uh, Huskar, Clinks, and Invoker band out, that's responded by uh, the Doom, Ember and I guess they want to ban, I, I imagine just a minute yeah. gaming, they're gonna ban TA, okay. Queen of pain. Well it's a really fast call pick up actually for Pussy Lancer, so the Undying Earth Shaker. It's going to be answered with an Undying Earth Shaker. All pretty pick. meta heroes at the moment. No real divergence from that. Yeah, the quad pick up straight away is pretty um, clear, I guess. Such a strong lane dominator. You know. Oracle. Oh, there's oh, your Oracle. Team. Dire team pick. Fam, we did it. Alrighty, Oracle. Radiant team. Pick. I have now. I've got to read up what the skills are. Hard out. Already, everyone's got to learn. Oracle I just got to remember quick. the na Yeah, <laughs> like just a minute gaming, eh? They all of a sudden Radiant like fucking wish you got to work out how this hero works. Radiant um, team. Pick. Fortune's in fate's edict, purifying flames, and false promise. They're gonna be. It's gonna be like it's in the team fight. It's gonna be Oracle uses her alt. Oracle uses her W, her E, or a Q. Just. <laughs> oh man. Oh, anyway, Wraith King Troll Dyer picked up as the response pick. D for Just a Minute Gaming, so... I think Troll has a quite a bad win rate this, so far this tournament. Yeah, I certainly haven't Naga seen Troll win. Uh, Naga's actually going to be the Dyer pick up. Team oh, no. Pick. So, assuming that Naga Lich, so... Team pick. Is this, it's either going to be a core Naga or a core Oracle? Maybe? Uh, oh, I'm Pussy Lancer can do with the draft. Yeah, I'm probably more inclined uh, to see a Slardar core, but we'll see how this this turns out. Slardar core, and then like an offlane Oracle or something. Yeah, that could be that could work. Uh, just a minute, gaming last pick. Uh, they've got a a few good decent heroes. They're probably looking for another support, I'd imagine, depending on how they want to play this on dying. Remaining. And if you look at the supports in the pool. Uh, something like a disruptor, remaining. pretty good against a quap and a slaughter. Yep, there we go. Well, this is a pretty interesting draft from both teams. Both teams have a lot of um, potential for uh, aggression once you start getting up, up to about like ten minutes and after laning stage. There's a lot of um, a lot of kill potential on both teams. Oh, I'm just excited to see this oracle. Eh? First oracle <laughs> of the tournament. First, first non uh, captain's mode hero that we've seen on the stream so far. So, oh, do you think all the pussy lance players they chose their heroes and then the only person left was just like, oh shit, I've, I've got to be the one to play Oracle. Yeah, alrighty, t yeah, I'll take this one. Yeah, I'll read up on the <laughs> skills. Yeah. Alrighty, as we hop into the game, we're going to get the the uh, traditional pause at the beginning of each game, and we'll uh, have a look at the side of the radiant. Just a minute. Jam, we've got uh, Lion on the Earthshaker, uh, Perfect on the Wraith King, Undying being played there by Fiber, NX3 on the Troll, <laughs> and Stanton on the Disruptor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, uh, if we look over to the side of uh, Pussy Lance, we've got Cox on the Lich, Super Fast Jellyfish on the Queen of Pain, Sacrifusion's going to be holding it down on the Naga, Lead the Masses, Leading the Masses on the Slada, and Moops playing the Oracle. Now I... It'd be interesting <laughs> to see how they build this Naga, because... <laughs> <laughs> Definitely some, uh, some trolling coming out from these players here. It's great banter. Yeah. Maybe he's trying to learn the names. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty, looks like we've got uh, the resumption of this one. Uh, having a look, uh, particularly the Nargis Orange, to see how they're going to run it. Uh, Sakura Fusion, I believe, was their mid player previously, so. Uh, it makes sense that this might be. Uh, yeah, she's gonna get some full tango. So we are gonna get a core nugget. We're gonna have some nice. resident sleeper gaming. Yep, uh, it's quite good versus so a tombstone. Um, also, I think it's probably quite useful against the Wraith King as well in the fights, just being able to, like, you know, just sleep the whole fight and kill the tombstone and things like that. Yep, gives them the opportunity to reset. Which is nice. Uh, the Troll Wraith King, I mean that's something to be feared, having two melee cores like that. I imagine we're going to see a mid-troll. And then Wraith King moving into the core, but... Still yeah. plenty of options, so we're going to see the typical the trade-off. seconds. Yeah, I'm actually battle. a big fan of, just thinking about it a bit further, I'm a big fan of Naga in this draft as well, because of uh, the work he can put in against the... Um, the Troll Warlord ult and the Disruptor ult as well, just having that option to, if the fight starts off badly for you, just to be able to drop drop your sleep and reset. Yeah. So it looks as though uh, we're going to have runes go each way. The battle Pretty begins. standard. Loaded to the gills! Uh, so Troll against the Naga. Um, if that is the mid matchup, it seems to be the way. Uh, certainly favoured towards the troll. Oh, definitely. Um, but in saying that, if they can keep stacks up in the jungle, Naga can catch up. And we see a bottle rush, there's only a creep away, so. Uh, the ability to spam out her E and her uh, Q. So it looks as though we're gonna get that tri lane bot lane. We're gonna have. Uh, we're gonna have the, uh, the Race King Earthshaker Disruptor. Uh, lead, and again, we saw this, uh, I can't, it might have even been PL who ran this last night, but the, the Slada, or the Lich Jewel Lane, I think they ran it with a, um, no, actually, that might have been another team, they ran the Lich Centaur off lane, and it kind of functions mm. in a similar way to the Slada factory. You kind of just give him experience, he's not going to get uh, a lot of farm, but it's also great against the tri lane. It just helps out the Slada, but especially early on, like, once the Slada has got level 2, he's got some, he's got the sprint up as well. Uh, the Lich can rotate and move around the map a bit more, but top lane, uh, going in on the Undying, he's stolen a lot of strength from the Queen of Pain actually, so uh, I think this is uh, for sure a difficult kill to get, but uh, there might be some blocks coming at him from the Oracle, he's going to have to turn and steal some strength, and they're going to blink oh. for it, and there we go, first blood, first. Oracle Gaming. Uh -huh. Undying, underestimating that Fortune's End. Great yeah. spell. Nice use of, uh, nice use of spell name there, yep. Uh, but he does have a like, super, super wave underneath his tower, he's got three range creeps there, so he's gonna, uh, find himself probably to level three, which is probably, uh, sort him out in the lane one, I'd yeah. imagine, so, he's gonna be right up here after that early death. Uh, but still, a good start for the quap. In the spot lane, you, you mentioned you had this aggressive tri lane coming out from the side of Jam, and the kill potential is pretty rude, but with uh, the Lich who's just left, but um, the Lich and the um, Slada, they have pretty good um, disengage potential, as you see Slada being engaged. They now. might actually go. Yeah, they've got enough stuns here, the Slada's gonna run, the Race King uh, holds the stun, and they're actually gonna trap him in all, oh, nice Tango. Tango from Lead the Masses will uh, keep him at bay. There is one more kinetic field, doesn't latch, I don't think they could've got the kill anyway. Oh. oh, the turn! Alrighty then! 
that's again, there's just a bit of underestimation. And in fact, the Earthshaker might also go down. He's got no mana for Fissure. He's just going to be run down, I think. Right click down, he is too. Wow. <laughs> so they turn what looked to be a potential gank attempt around. Two heroes dead. And all of a sudden, this Lich Slaughter jewel lane. Uh, but elsewhere, sense. we're actually going to see the tombstone. They're going to have to right click it down because this is going to come close. Oh. And in fact, there is a lion rotating in. He's going to stun them up. But, uh, top tower they were quick enough attack. on their heels. Did cancel the salve. Oracle just heals him back up. What a good hero. Naga's doing quite well in terms of last steps in the mid lane. Yeah, she's just, uh, Centrifusion. Certainly not getting bullied out. Uh, like what can happen, but the Shaker's looking to make a move. He's level 1. Does have the Fissure. This is probably the last time they can really gank the Naga, because with a couple of waves, she's level 6. And uh, then you require a whole lot more for the gank. Top lane though, uh, we're going to see the tombstone dropped. The Undying's going to go in here on the Oracle and he's going to pick him up. Now uh, the Return Killer's going to be there on the Queen of Pain. He's going to right click the tombstone. In fact, decides just to bunk away. Yeah, good landing Action decision there. Every lane in this game. Good landing decision yeah. to put the co-op up against the tombstone. You know, you can just blink away. Not too much danger. Uh, mid lane, we see the the oracles rotated in. He's looking now to go on the troll warlord. Here we go. Oh, the burst damage comes through, but whirling axe is good spell. With the oracle rotating through, they've uh, stuck the earth shaper, shaker up here just to babysit the undying somewhat. She's got to be careful. She just hit six. The stun's gonna come out. Are they gonna be able to burst her down in time? No, she's able to blink away. Naga going down the mid lane to troll. Kill potential there. Yeah. While that was going on. Oh, really? <laughs> Naga not happy about this lane matchup. No, she's done alright for herself, but uh, once. Troll Warlord does get a bit of farm. I think that's the wand actually coming out in courier for him. But if you look at in terms of the CS and uh, the Dyer certainly had the advantage. The 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 unfortunate uh, state of this Wraith King down here. Uh, the Earthshaker rotated out of the lane, and basically what it meant is we're actually going to have a bit of an engage mid perhaps. We've got a level three Earthshaker. Naga's got sleep if she needs it, and uh, sorry, song rather. Radiance Middle Tower. They are gonna look to turn out the quap ult here. The TP in there, they're gonna look to burst down uh, the Earthshaker as well as the Undying. Earthshaker's gonna go down, there's one more hit actually, they leave him. Uh, Boop says, I'll get him, but uh, the other side of the fight, uh, they actually split it up well. So, sleep into Naga ult, ninth reaction from PL. And as they take down the tombstone, uh, they pressure that early lead, lead the match. His bottom lane though, he's gone on the disruptor, needs a couple of good luck bashes. He's gonna still go in though, Wraith King's holding a stun, and he's actually cracked, he can't move I don't think. And so the, uh, the stuns are gonna come on through, three seconds till the next stun from the Wraith King. Oh. He's gonna turn it off again, so he's got sprints up now and he's gonna do it. That timing was like bang on, eh? Yeah, he recognised the timing. Uh, mid lane again, troll. Just bullying this Naga out of lane. But yeah, the Race King's farm is severely crippled. Uh, he does have a little bit of a steroid in the form of the troll ultimate, but at the end of the day, um, Still need some semblance of farm. This top lane looks to be the lane they look to go on. Moops is going to rotate through on his oracle with the burst damage too much.
mid lane. The uh, the attempt to go on Sacrifusion hasn't come off. Uh, no net yet from the Naga, so... A uh, little in the way of stuns, but uh, they will, I imagine, have the Slaughter Blink coming up at some point soon. He's, uh, what, he's got uh, 200 gold, so he's treads it on his way towards it. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Uh, as, he, as it's the Quok who's blinked in for the oh. room, and she's going to find herself dying to the troll. That bash coming well, through to the blinked in aggressively for the rune. Yeah. Just like that, troll gaming. And mid lane troll with the haste just able to bully. Might be a bit of a skirmish here, bottom. Disruptor's caught out there by the slider as well as the Lich. Lich is gonna send her off, bounces through, bounces once, bounces back to the lion, which needs a uh, side of the line. Air shaker, which uh, means he's gonna be down as well. He might even look to go for the race kick. Uh, he's actually a creep away from season six. Oh boy, this would be disaster. He's gonna look to sell it off. He needed 13 experience. And that's just the power of the Lich. He's been sitting in the spot lane the entire time. Lich has been attack. denying creeps. He's got a high level than he does. Top lane. We're going to see the Undying. He's going to tank a Queen of Pain on. He's uh, sick. I'll turn around and keep fighting you. Yeah. Uh, but the first actually from Oracle is going to come down. Oh, Oracle's is he going to get it? Dude, hit the, please hit the tomb. Oh, dear. And PL have opened up a big early lead up against JAM. It seems to be the teams of the Slaughter, man. I don't know. Like, Slaughter is such a hero. I don't know what his run rate is on the mainstream, but he just seems attack. to have won most of his games. He is a very strong hero right now. I don't know. It's that Slytherin crush to me, man. That's just such a strong spell. Yeah. I mean, he's got the initiation. As soon as he gets a couple of levels into sprints, and then... Slithering Crush, he just goes ham. A second cooldown. Might want to do something about it. Disruptors moved in, but they have noticed the Lich is in the vicinity. And again, this is a tr this is a two on three lane, but the Wraith King is just scared. They even walk up into it. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Have a look at that net worth and uh, an early net worth lead actually for the Naga. So she's uh, come back with stacks nicely in the jungle. Uh, but the problem that uh, the issue here for JAM is although Troll's the next highest net worth, look at that. You've got the Quap, the Slada, the Oracle, all high net worth uh, than the Wraith King. So Struggle City is top lane. The ultimate's going to bounce through. Kill off the Undying. In fact, the Troll's going to come in and look now to clean up. The Oracle's going to stand its ground and say, Man, fight me, please. And, and on the back line, actually, the Tombstone kills off the Lich, so a double kill there. And that turns the tides. Lane. The Wraith King still having a hard time up against the Slada. The Slada's got two levels on him. And we're going to see the rotation in here from the Lich. So, uh, looks like they might look to go on the Wraith King. Just a bit of cheeky harass. The Slada, only uh, 300 gold away from Blink mid lane. The Oracle looks just to harass down the line. In fact, he kills the Earthshaker. Oracle, what a hero. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. At 360 nuke damage. Holy. That's actually ridiculous. 360 nuke damage coming out from this Oracle, and we've, uh, we've seen just how strong it is. I'm dying points 
of um, blink. He's looking to work towards the mech. He's uh, 400 gold away from that. The Slada does pick up his blink here. So a 12 and a half minute blink for the Slada. Good timing. And they need to use this to fight here, PL. It's, uh, I don't really want to sit back and allow this Wraith King just to amass some of this farm back. They do actually ping out the Disruptor. Oh, oh poor Disruptor. Uh, actually, might. Yeah, he's. He's just gonna go down. They might even turn the attention on to the uh, Wraith King. You're caught out in the wrong neighborhood, buddy. TP reactions are going to come through here from the Troll Warlord. A top lane, the Undying goes down, but we'll stick with the action bottom. The Wraith King now looking to turn things. The Slada, a nice blink of eight. He goes off the back line, finds the level 3 Earthshaker. The Wraith King looks a man up, but he does get the option for his Troll. Troll ulti turned on. How strong is that? Just looks the right with the way. He's going to drop down. I think Boots going to eventually drop down too, but the Lich Ult keeps bouncing. And Cox back and forth, back and forth. It was a three for one bottom lane. They pick up the Undying top as well. PL is outplaying JAM at the moment. Yeah, that was an unfortunate coincidence with that Lich Ult bouncing around as well. Just didn't, um, kind of came back to them and like disappeared, went onto the creeps and then like bounced its way back to them somehow. Yeah. The uh, Sacred Fusions just started to hit the jungle, go for the grind of the last few minutes, and he's almost at his relic, so he'll be looking at a pretty good timing for his Radiance. Yeah, looking like it'll be a, oh, a 17, 18 minute Radiance, which is nothing to sneeze at, uh, especially given the lane matchup, but it seems just made in space, like the Slardar's got the blink, you can see them hitting now top, the Queen of Pain, uh, she's got an invis room, so... I'm looking now to set up on this Undying, the Undying looking now to be bursted down. We're gonna drop the tombstone, heal up a bit, he's gonna have to turn and fight as hard as he can, but Cox comes in. This nuke damage coming out from PL, nothing to be underestimated. Uh, specifically the supports, you know, the, the Oracle comes in, he's got 360 damage, purifying flames. The Q, the Frost Blast, that's what, 200 damage as well, so... That's a 500 damage nuke. 15 minutes into the game, and that's just the support still damage. Dyer's yeah, totally, when you stack that onto the, the damage output of the Queen of Pain and the Lich and stuff as well, it's just. And now the blink, the blink. Radiant's top from the, tower uh, is under ladder. attack. Looking pretty scary. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Queen of Pain is farming up, she's gone the Orchid route, and in fact she has it now, so uh, a nice early Orchid. Radiance top tower is under Great up attack. against the Disruptor, great up against the Earthshaker. Uh, if you can all control before he ultis, then uh, significant less damage than the team fight bottom lane. No, it's going to be sit by static storm kinetic field, and uh, he's dead. He's still the Disruptor, the tasty bait, and they might look for more. The Lich is going to hightail it out of there, he's going to get away. And Roche is being pinged out. The advantage of a Troll Warlord. He's got that helm. Could go in, but it is really risky. Again, trying to fight into that Naga with a sleep. Yeah, and they're not, they're not really... Slaughter's only down for 20 more seconds. I don't think they can kill it fast enough. Dire advantage. Just, this, the advantage of Dire side is that they can come and contest Roche a lot easier as well. For sure, Naga now closing in on that Radiance. It's the last few creeps, really. Well, the last few few creeps. 400 gold. Radiance top tower is under attack. They are going to commence this push off. The Earthshaker yet to hit level 6. Still got that fissure. Maybe they can make a glimpse play, but uh, no real vision. Glimpse is level 3, so he's decided to not take any into the strike. Against Lada and Queen of Pain, nah, can certainly understand that. And so we've actually got a glove of haste out on this Lada. Is he going? Uh, is he going Midas or is he going like an armlet build? Either or. Do yeah, control bottom. He's gonna be spotted out by the ward. But top lane. Double kill. Yeah, I'm glad you caught it, Britain, because uh, I missed it. <laughs> the Queen of Pain is off the Undying, so. Just Queen of Pain, Lich coming through, dealing a lot of damage, and just, I think, 
Um, Jam weren't really in the position to try contest any of that. Radiance top tower is under attack. Radiance structures are fortified. So farm top, farm bottom, they're going to take that uh, tier one tower. The race king now uh, on bottom lane, working towards Radiance top uh, tower. Race king is working forward. towards uh, the arm. They should have that soon. Radiance top tower. Is uh, the radiance. So uh, yeah, 18 minutes on the radiance for the Naga. Uh, good timing. Build with that now. I think um and uh, I mean. Tip Sorry, you go. You go. Oh, and, uh, with uh, with this 18 minute radiance as well on the Naga, Jam can start to say goodbye to the outer towers because they're not going to be around. Yeah. Well, you know who else we can say goodbye to? The Disruptor. The disruptor. R.I.P. The Disruptor disappears very quickly and they look to make the jump in on the Ursha. Yeah. He's going to make a slam to heal him up when the nuke comes through there to throw the Oracle. The Oracle has actually found himself with Yules, decides to uh, Yules and Delph up and he's going to just hold the way. What a hero. They still have to be careful here, they'll load the course from Jamara. Still, Dyer's bottom tower difficult team attack. fight to take with the smarter. The Quap jumps in, he's actually going to get onto the Undying. They want to blow the Undying up as soon as they can. Yes, they get him. And comes the Soul Portal, looking out to reinitiate. The Liches, perhaps the target of choosing the uh, Earthshaker stuff is going to come out. And on the back line, they're gonna pick up the disruption. Hey, my guy for Raid King, he doesn't have enough mana, he's got six charges now. He's gonna, so he's got, uh, he's able to stick himself up. The Earthshaker dies again. Say goodbye to any hopes of a blink or anything. Oh, boys. Oh, uh, no. They're gonna go in for more. Oh, no. Queen of oh. Bane, he's got a roll up. Oh, the bash! Oh, that's perhaps uh, not what they're looking for. I think that's the Oracle coming in. They're able to pick him out. In comes the Undying. This team fight still going on. Blink into the base from Quap. She doesn't have the mana to TP. Uh, she does now. The Glimpse doesn't actually have the vision. So they are going to be able to retreat and get out. That was a crazy team fight. Uh, at the end of the day, all five of Jan died. Uh, only for the slaughter of PL. And all of a sudden, under attack. they're up two kills to eight. And this is with the Naga. Like, you are not meant to win the early game with a Naga. All that hero does is farm until she's got her Radiance. And they still have the lead, so... This is a game where Naga can just take hold, take control. And, uh, PL should cruise to this game. They should cruise. I was about to give massive props to the, uh, the Slada lead masses. How he kind of kited the Wraith King around a little bit and then looked like he's about to die. Bottom lane. Threw out some more aggression. The Wraith King's gonna be dove on. So no, so no eggs yet on the clock, which means that his uh, ult's still on cooldown from that last fight. Yeah, he doesn't want to risk dying and losing the um, gold he has. All the toggles? That's unfortunate. Race King, uh, Race King toggled with uh, Shadow Strike on him. That's uh, maybe not the play. Earthshake is going to go down on the backside. Oh no, the troll's deeping it. Uh, I'm not sure if the, the play either. They might just dive this. Slada turned up and said, hey, hey kids, how's it going? Naga is deep. They're gonna, oh, BKB actually from the troll. Uh, Naga is, is able to solve. She gets get away out of the static storm first. So, goes out and they're looking to retreat. The Undying's picked up one kill. The Naga's in no man's land, so she's gonna TP now. I feel like it's a bit late. Oh, no bash. Volvo. Uh, but Moses is, is gonna die. Double kill. Double kill comes out. They pick up the Oracle, they pick up the Lich. No big fish though. And Kawap is sitting there, she's waiting. And decides better on it. So. Yeah, I mean, that, that started off pretty disastrously. Uh, yeah. The, Na the Naga wanted Song. She wanted to Song and be able to reset the fight. But a lovely uh, kinetic field static storm from the Disruptor stopped the. Uh, Stop the Naga from ulting right at the beginning. Fighter Slada picks off the Earthshaker. Rip. Dyer's bottom tower is under um, another important thing, I think, is we were talking before about how the Wraith King popped his uh, reincarnation. Um, the side of PL, I don't think, actually um, saw it. So whilst he was quite out of position to yeah. start, they didn't um, want to commit on him because they thought he had his reincarnation up. It's true that it was the best place to reincarnate. 
And also, he fusion's now picked up those bots. He reincarnated just before he got up to level 11, so he still has the cooldown from his level 1 reincarnation up. Ooh. Oh, boys. Uh, not dream. Bottom lane, though, Earthshake is going to take down the Orchid Shadow Strike damage. Uh, that's the uh, the Aghanim Center showing off there by the Queen of Pain. The Troll Warlord's got himself a BKB, a Helm, and uh, also another K's worth of gold. Radiant's so. bottom tower is under attack. Yeah, the first shake is now looking a bit weird. Yeah. Some other items. Uh, Jinaga could be caught out here as mid. We're going to look at the fight. It's going to be a, a death of the undying. Jinaga's going to shake it off. Radiant's bottom tower. Slada tries for a tower. So Slada did go that. Uh, the hand of Midas root. He's since picked up himself an Ogre Club, but there might be a, a uh, oh, and by team fight. I mean, uh, he dies pretty quickly. Nice there, still Troll dead. Is but another Troll will also come in. Troll is in, as is the Slaughter. Troll's gonna have to BKB to run away. As soon as this BKB runs out, I think we're gonna see a re engage here from from PL. A nice vision. Doesn't catch the quap. She's able to go through and just burns it down. The Rage King is re Still on CD. He's gonna go down as well. And 10 to 37 if you're a jam, yep, you just called it GG. It comes Radiant's out, they've had enough for this. <laughs> uh, PL, the landing stage again, super well for them. That's Lada Lich bottom, crippled uh, that Wraith King. And despite the, the troll doing well mid, uh, wasn't enough. Naga still found her farm. And at the end of the day, Pussy Lancer take game one. This is a best of three. Of course, you are watching the Anzac Dota Captain's Draft. My name is Ride Hunter. You can catch me uh, through uh, uh, through Facebook, Ride Hunter Dota. You can also catch me at Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, the whole nine yards. I've been casting with Mrs. Frisbee. Make sure you also check out Anzac Dota on Facebook. Check out the Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash Anzac Dota. And make sure you catch us for the next game. This is the best of three. Pussy Lancer taking on J J A M. Just an attack. See ya.